So the machines are coming, whether it's robots, ATM machines, or cell phones. The machines are here. But the big question is, will they take our jobs? The World Bank has been looking at this question in Vietnam, and I'd like to share with you some of what we've been learning. So first of all, yes, some jobs will disappear because of machines. A factory in China proudly reports that 90% of its jobs were replaced by robots and the quality of the product that this firm was producing improved. However, other jobs will remain and work with technology. So the question is, what do we do? How do we prepare so that humans will dominate the machines? One of the key areas that we need to develop is skills. Does that mean that we all need to become computer programmers? No, it doesn't. And the United States, a technologically advanced economy, about 0.002% of the labor force are computer programmers. The rest of us, it's called digital literacy. Okay, digital literacy, but what other skills do we need? What the research is telling us is that we need to develop human skills. What are human skills? Human skills is management, leadership, working in teams, complex problem solving, and anything that requires a human touch. So this has implications for the education and training system in Vietnam. This means that there needs to be a shift in what is taught in schools and in training institutes. So that in addition to what is currently being taught, there's more instruction on human skills and on digital technologies. Secondly, the mode of delivering this teaching needs to change. It needs to be faster, flexible, shorter, moving with the times. And third, we need to be prepared to learn over our lifetimes. As technology rapidly changes, we need to have the skills that change along with it. And so the main message is the machines are coming and we, do, we need to prepare. Because if we prepare, then we humans will dominate the machines and the future will be a better future for all of us.